Hey Capricorns, welcome back. I'm Divinely Dustin. Welcome back to another video. Happy Monday, happy Tuesday. Please take a minute, like the video, uh, share the videos, Capricorn. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the love. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the love and the support of my channel. If you are interested in booking me for a private reading, all that information should be in the description box below. I have a general message for Capricorns today. Okay, honey, I don't know what's going to come out. We're going to find out together. All I know is I'm glad you're here with me. And if you're going through a hard time, you're going through difficulties, you're going through a situation in which you're, you, you know, the enemy is really trying to destroy you. I want to encourage you to keep going because you're not alone. I know you hear people say that shit all the time. Oh, I, but it, you, you feel like you're going, you, you feel like you're alone when you're going through certain things. Okay. You may feel like you're alone, but I'm here to let you know that I'm going through things. Other people are in the collective are going through things right along with you and you are not alone. Okay, if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. I just want you to keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, baby. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't give up. No matter how difficult it gets. You know, God gives God gives his toughest the toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. In Capricorn, you got to be one of his soldiers. Toughest soldiers, okay? You're definitely one of God's soldiers, okay? You may be one of his toughest soldiers, okay? Because you're going through, because you're going through some stuff that other people would be dead from, or sick, or not well mentally from, okay? Go easy on your mental. Go easy on yourself. There's a lot of spiritual warfare going on at this time, Capricorn. You could be 44 years old. You could have a lot of people opposing you. You could have one person opposing you, okay? Anyone opposing you, you know? Hey, look at it as um as a stepping stone, okay? Look at it as a stepping stone. Step right over their ass and keep going. Keep going. Keep going, baby. Yes. The devil would not be fighting you so hard or he wouldn't be he wouldn't even be fighting you if you didn't have something uh of great importance that God wants to give you or God has for you already. Okay, Capricorn, so please keep going, baby. Overall energies, we got the sun card. Yes, we got Leo energy, the sun card. Woo! Wow, wow, wow. I said keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. The sun card represents God. The emperor represents God. Look at God now. Look at God. He's coming through, opening up the gate strong. Keep going. The sun card and the emperor, that's God, baby. And the six of wands, that's God. Okay, who's going to come up against God? Whoever's doing it is foolish and is reckless. Okay, your spiritual team is working hard to work some things out for you. Period. When I say your spiritual team, I mean the angels, the archangels, our heavenly father. It looks like God is literally taking personal control of this case, okay, for you, Capricorn. The sun card, the emperor, the six of wands, that's God. And the eight of coins. He's working hard, honey. He's working hard to protect you, defend you, and to continuously uh, bless you. Okay, God loves you. He loves you. He came out strong here. We got the Eight of Cups, okay? The Eight of Cups. Something could have significantly happened when you were a child, your parents divorced, you were adopted, uh, you was in the foster care system, you could have grew up and you could have been um, what they call a wayward child, okay? Disrespectful to your parents, okay? Uh, a teenage runaway, okay? But God has always had his eye on you, okay? He's always kept you. You know, when you're a child, you, you think and act as a child, okay? When you're an adult, you put away that childish shit, okay? We got the seven of coins. Oh, wow. You have, you have, you have a, you have an uncle that crossed over, okay? You have, you have a father that crossed over, a husband, perhaps, a male that crossed over is in your energies, and he's watching over you today, Capricorn. Significantly, okay? Period. You could be a uh, single here, the nine of coins. Mm. You could have had a lover or a husband or a boyfriend or a wife pass away of a, a terminal illness, okay, or a disease, okay, or they could have, you could have a current partner or you had an ex-partner or you could even have a family member or even a parent that had a disease or something like diabetes, high blood pressure, you know, they could have had a stroke, okay, Capricorn, let me know if this is resonating, okay, yes. You got somebody that you're involved with or, or that wants to be involved with you. But it looks like you're coming up as self-sufficient and independent and a strong way maker on your own, okay? Fiercely, fiercely strong here. Oof, a Capricorn that has a lot of Leo? Get out of her way. Get out of his way. Wow, you got the heart of a lion, okay? You got the heart of a lion. 
Wow, the Queen of Coins and the Strength card? You're a strong manifester. Damn, you could have three lovers that are still thinking about you this year or have thought about you at some point. Previous partners, okay? You could have three exes that have thought about you at some point this year, Capricorn. You could have a special connection with a Taurus born on May the 12th. Something significant could be definitely getting ready to happen May the 12th, okay? We're, we're right here May the 8th. So in a few days, okay, something could be significant. Something significant could transpire for you in a few days. Possibly with the Taurus or during Taurus season. We got the eight. Yeah. Yeah, there's a male that loves the way the Capricorn woman dominated him sexually. Okay, it looks like he's wanted some more of that or he's thought about it this year. Okay, we got the Queen of Cups. Man, you're getting your justice. You're getting your justice. The Justice card. Whew. The Justice card, the Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, what is going on here? Perhaps, perhaps you just need to take a deep breath and relax and know that everything is working out. You could be someone that is literally living in your north node, okay? You have a special definitive purpose and calling here. And what comes with that? Abundance, money, wealth, material assets, okay? Capricorn, it looks like that's going to be released or has been released or it's in the process of being released, especially with justice being here. So just look for more ways to... Um, make money okay don't 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 be scared to put yourself out there to go for what you what you want because you're going to get it the king of coins the ace of coins and the justice card and the queen the queen of cups this could be a very uh, a very substantial husband that you've manifested okay a powerhouse manifester future spouse capricorn okay you're going to marry them or you're going to be in a relationship with them or you already were this could be an ex okay take the reading how it resonates but I feel like this is this is current energy, and I feel like um, you could be dating someone that is a, a powerhouse manifester, or someone that's a powerhouse manifester is thinking about you quickly. Quickly, period. This person could be shy. This person could be a Virgo. This person could be a Capricorn. This person um, is a powerhouse. The Wheel of Fortune, the King of Wands. Wow, this could be Leo and Capricorn. There's something significant about Leo and Capricorn. Those two. Those two right there, Leo and Capricorn. I don't know what's up with that, but I know some Leos and Capricorns. Michelle Obama and Barack Obama, former President Barack Obama, and his first lady, Michelle Obama. Obama. Okay, he's a Leo. She's a Capricorn. It's something significant about that connection, Capricorn, here. They can't stay away from each other. Yes. Yes. This person, man, he's powerful. She's powerful. This could also indicate um, Capricorn playing the field. She's just having fun. He's just... He's just having fun. He has a few, he has a few people that he's currently speaking to or talking to or associating with, or or she does. Okay, take the reading, how it resonates. It looks like she's coming up as single. He's coming up as single. Okay, yes, you may have you you may you may um you seriously may be dating someone that's or you 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 attract wealthy guys, Capricorn woman, or attractive. Attractive wealthy guys are attracted to you or wealthy women are attracted to you or you attract wealthy women Take the reading how it resonates or they're attracted to you. Okay, Capricorn Wow We got the four of wands. There's a Capricorn man that is something going on with his wand the king of wands The knight of wands the devil the four of wands It's, it's a it's a it's a sexual role play that this person likes to play with you or you know could potentially happen in the future capricorn you may like to role play with your partners we got the hierophant somebody is just missing that shit today the hierophant and the ten of wands this could also indicate somebody that cheated on you played you played over you played with you is going through a hard fucking time i like to call that karma okay i, I like to call that karma okay somebody's getting their shit for what they did to capricorn today they're getting it. They're getting it. They're getting it. Don't feel bad. And I'm pretty sure Capricorn ain't, ain't feeling too damn bad. And even if they are, they're not stopping their life because somebody else didn't treat them right or someone, uh, somebody messed over them. Okay. Whoever did this, they're getting their karma. We got, oh, you're meant to marry someone. You're meant to be in a substantial, emotionally deep connection with someone. Point, point, period. This is your justice. You know this person already. This could be an Aquarius. Aquarius, Capricorn. Oh my goodness. Another connection that can go. It can work. It can work, okay. It can, it can, it can, okay. This Aquarius may have um, been going through uh, 
Mr. Aquarius been through some shit, Capricorn. Take the reading how it resonates, okay? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and close out this reading, Capricorn. Please take the message how it resonates. We got the Ten of Coins and the Seven. You can like older... Yeah, Capricorn, you can like older guys, too. I see that energy here. You like older women or you're attracted to older individuals? Capricorn, let me know if this reading is making sense or if it even freaking resonates here, okay? But I feel like... um. I feel like you're someone not to be underestimated. Uh, you're someone that's not to be underestimated with or played over. Although you've had people do this to you. You are a powerful manifester that has... You You watch your own fucking back, okay? And you, you feel like you've been in a fight for your life recently. Within the last, the last seven to nine years, has been a battle or a brutal cycle for you in which you've constantly had to defend yourself and fight off the opposition, okay? Yeah, you could be in a public eye or that would be something that you should definitely consider okay i've been picking up on that energy today someone is in nostalgia energy thinking about you today you have at least three former partners that could have potentially already thought about you this year okay yes yeah you could have had a tumultuous relationship or you're already in one this year today you're in a tumultuous relationship there's a lot of passion there's a lot of sex there's a lot of feelings there's a lot of emotions but there could also be a lot of toxicity connect connect in relations to that connection yeah you also have some sort of spiritual bond with someone here. But this person is in the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands, sex-based type of energy, non-committal, toxic type of energy at this current time here. They could be somewhere ghosting someone today or hiding from someone today. This person, they definitely could be focusing on the material aspect of their life at this particular time. Not really, this is not someone that's, I would say, would be ready for any kind of commitment. Although they might be, okay? They could just equate sex with love, okay? You know, some people do that, okay? But it looks like they are they are a good manifester, okay? Capricorn, you have some sort of spiritual connection or uh, you've had some sort of spiritual connection with this person. That's true. I'm hearing Billy. Hi, Billy. Mm-hmm. We got the Nine of Cups. Mm-hmm. Capricorn, she get what she wants. She get help. She get what she wants. But she worked for what she wants, okay? Yeah, you could have people, you could have females that get jealous of, uh, of you. You could have a strong connection with a Sagittarius Capricorn. Yeah, you could get, you could have somebody that's currently mad and jealous because of somebody you're meant to be with, honey. Somebody else ain't happy about it. Okay, we're going to move forward with that. That's just what it is. Capricorn is single, independent, and she does, and he does what the fuck they want. Period. Yeah, we got the, the hangman. She could be, or, you know... Capricorn, he or she, they could definitely, you, Capricorn, could be in the energies of just hanging back from dating at this time, okay? You got some people you talk to, you got some people you see, you got some people you associate with, but you're not really serious or committed. Or you might be. Take the reading how it resonates, but I'm picking up on someone that's independent and, and they're, they're not really dating anyone at this particular time, okay? Or they could be dating around, okay? Mm-hmm. You, you got an angel, you got an ancestor that has been with you your whole life okay god is watching over you he's literally taking control of a situation for you today capricorn have no fear honey he's working hard to make some stuff happen behind the scenes that will be uh, uh, materialized and materialized in the future yes we got the nine of wands and the moon card what you don't see what you don't see okay you and your baby daddy could be giving each other a hard time. You and your baby mama could be giving each other a hard time. Or you could just have done that this year. You went through a difficult time um, with the mother of your child or the father of your child this year. Yeah, we got the death card. Oh, the death card. You got a powerful spiritual team. The death card, the temperance, and the, the king of swords. That's Archangel Michael. Those are guardian angels. Those are um, archangels that uh, fight and war for you. You got God, God fighting and warring for you. You have archangels. And you have ancestors uh, fighting and warring for you, Capricorn. I don't know who made you an enemy. I don't know who made you an enemy, but that wasn't wise. It wasn't wise to come up against you. You could love to smoke marijuana. I see 420. 420, you could have a significant uh, connection with an Aries, okay? Yeah, I don't know who decided to come up and oppose you and, and cause a war with you, but that was not, that wasn't, they're not the smartest man or the smartest woman. Because you got God coming out. Because you have God coming out, protecting and defending you. And you also have archangels and ancestors coming out and ve vehemently defending you today. The high priestess said, hey, there's somebody that's still watching you. They're dreaming about you. They're lusting about you. They're fantasizing about you. 
they're working through whatever they're working through, but they're thinking about you while they're working through whatever they're working through. They could be going through some karma and block from you today, and that's why you haven't heard from them, because God has blocked this person. Your spiritual team has this person blocked. This person could have done some magic on you. Okay, this could be why you're not with them. Okay, take the reading or her. Take the reading how it resonates. Yeah, this person could have cheated on you, played with you, betrayed you, hurt you, chose someone else over you, and this person is feeling the effects of what God is doing to this person, and it ain't pretty okay you're not going to be um nowhere near this person this person is going through karma uh this could be a sagittarius that's facing some heavy ass karma for what they've done to you capricorn i knew if god comes up in the reading if god comes up in the angels and the archangels all coming out in the reading that's a significant sign that there's trouble here okay i don't know who did this to you or why they did it and why they continue to do it but they're losing they've lost can't beat god i don't know when people are gonna learn okay somebody could be in heavy anxiety today because you walked away from them but they didn't make no wise choice and they paying the price they, they, they gotta pay the piper for that okay somebody could have kept you in languo how do you keep an empress or emperor in languo i don't know ask this person this person did a lot of magical they played a lot of mind games and that shit came back to bite them and this person is paying for that capricorn if you want to go further please book me